Hello guys, this is me Sim Orahara and in this video I would like to talk about a special kind of Zanpakuto and it's a Zanpakuto with two blades meaning the Shinigami that are distinguished with two swords instead of one and the reason why I want to talk about this special category is what I read in one of the paragraphs of the third volume of Can't Fear Your Own World novel and exactly what Kyoraku said about Hisage releasing his Bankai Kyoraku told Nanao that Kazushini is not a Zanpakuto with two blades as some may think but his Zanpakuto is actually the chain as I already explained in a previous video. What triggered me in Kiraku's speech was what he said after that. He said that there is no such thing as a Shinigami with two blades. And if it happens, it's very rare and can be because of a foreign circumstances or some other no ordinary circumstances to get a Zanpakuto. And Kyoraku then talked about these factors that distinguish him and Okitaki. Being the ones having this ability, he didn't mention Ichigo, but we know these three are the only one with two swords. But in this video, I will go shortly over Ichigo because I would like to put more light on Kyoraku and Okitaki. As I said, according to Kyoraku, a Shinigami having two swords is really rare and only happens because of external factors. For Ichigo, the fact that he is both Shinigami and Quincy and because he had two different sources of power, where Zangates eventually formed as a two swords. One represents his Shinigami powers and the other his Quincy powers. And this is for Ichigo and we talked about that previously. As for Kyoraku and Ogitake is another thing. So according to what Yamaji said during the fight that was about to happen between him and Kyoraku and Okitake in the first arc, Yamaji confirmed that Kyoraku and Okitake are the only ones to own two swords in the whole soul society. And this is another statement confirming Kyoraku's words. For example, According to Kyoraku, the reason why Okitaki owns two swords in the Shikai form is related to the Mimihagi effect on him, meaning we can say that Okitaki's Shikai in that form is one of the Mimihagi's effects on him, especially that we know that Okitaki had the Mimihagi since he was three. I mean, there is no doubt that when he became a Shinigami and he tried to put his power and the essence of his soul in the Asauchi, the Mimihagi impacted the process and he got two swords on the Shikai level. And this was clear in the chapter when Okitaki was trying to awakening Mimihagi. He was using his Zanpakuto as a part of the ritual and this leads me to think about the side effects that could have impacted Okitaki's Bankai. If Mimihagi was the reason behind him having two swords in terms of Shikai, what would be the consequences for the Bankai? There is no doubt that his Bankai would have been special, not like other Shinigami, especially when we are talking about someone with the hand of the Soul King in his body. With that being said, if we look at it from another angle, and if we suppose that when Okitaki was young and he survived his illness without the intervention of Mimihagi and became a Shinigami and got his Zanpakuto, Okitaki would only have one soul, and this is why Mimihagi was the reason behind Okitaki's Shikai form with two swords. As for Kyoraku, it's somehow strange. Before knowing Kyoraku's past with Nanao's mother, we knew that Kyoraku has two swords, and he's the only one with two swords in the sealed form. Unlike Okitaki, whose second sword only shows in the Shikai form, Kyoraku has a long sword like any normal katana, and a short sword before releasing his Shikai. And then when he releases his Shikai, we see the two swords in this form. In the Bankai, he plants the swords in the ground, as we saw in chapter 647. So, if the reason behind Okitaki having two swords was the Mimihagi, then for Kyoraku is the fact that he wanted to hide Isi family Zanpakuto that Nanao's mother gave him in the flashback. And we saw how Nanao's mother gave him the Zanpakuto and makes him promise to keep it. And there is no doubt he tried hiding the Zanpakuto somewhere. And it seemed that Kyoraku wasn't yet a Shinigami at that time. And so, he may have hid it uh, for a period of time somewhere. And sometime later, Kyoraku appeared with Okitaki as officers. And there Okitaki told him that Nanao's mother was executed. What I think is, after that, after that incident, Kyoraku started feeling the danger and started seriously thinking of a radical solution to hide the Zanpakuto once and for all. And here, I find it strange that Kyoraku said that Ohana, meaning the big sword, gave birth to Okyu, the small sword, to hide Nanao's Zanpakuto inside. Notice, Kyoraku used the expression gave birth to. Doesn't seem a little bit weird? Doesn't this expression mean something if you link it to Kyoraku's character? And the fact that his Zanpakuto is an adult female? And the fact that Kyoraku's relationship with Ohana resembles more a relationship between a man and a woman than a Shinigami with Zanpakuto? Can't we ask an innocent question? Can a Shinigami have a sex 
with his Zanpakuto and maybe have a child and the child is another Zanpakuto. Maybe this happened with Kyoraku and Ohana gave birth to Okyo. This may sound crazy and unbelievable, however Kyoraku is a suspicious man and known as a womanizer. I mean for Kyoraku it doesn't matter if she is a Zanpakuto or a Arankara or human as long as she is a female, especially when he says that Ohana gave birth to Okyo. Okay, gave birth, how did it happen and when? It's true that a similar subject was brought up and here I'm talking about Mayuri when he was fighting Bernida. Mayuri modified his Bankai in a way that made him give birth to a new Bankai but Mayuri used the word modified so maybe one of the things that he meant was transgender Bankai where it's possible that he turned the Bankai into a female what I'm saying is mentioned in the novel where Mayuri told Hisagi that he can modify the Bankai's gender meaning Mayuri could turn a male Zanpakuto into a a female and vice versa and it seems that's what happened in his fight against Bernida meaning he turned the Bankai into a female to give birth to a new Bankai of course even if this didn't happen and the new Bankai was born with no such things we are here talking about Mayuri the crazy scientist and this operation happened on the Bankai level and it concerns one sword as for Kyoraku it's different we are here talking about a new Zanpakuto being born a Zanpakuto other than Ohana and so this deserves some explaining is there was sex between Kyoraku and Ohana for Okyo to be born or was there some kind of ritual because what made me consider the sex theory is the way Kyoraku can be around women and this in his relationship with Ohana the same thing I said about Okitaki can be said about Kyoraku if Nanao's mother didn't ask him to hide her family's Zanpakuto Kyoraku wouldn't have the second sword and would only have Ohana as his Zanpakuto and this explains Kyoraku's words about about a Shinigami having two Zanpakuto is generally impossible and if it happened an outside event is certainly interfering and this is what happened Okitake had two swords because of Mimihagi Kyoraku had two swords because Ohana gave birth to Okyo to hide the AC family Zanpakuto and Ichigo because he had two swords of power and just a PS I'm here talking about Shinigami who have two swords as for the Shinigami to have a Zanpakuto with two souls that's different situation like Renji who has a Zanpakuto combined of monkey and snake but he has only one sword and this confirms Kyoraku's words on this topic so guys what do you think about the case of Kyoraku and Ohana do you have other explanation tell me in the comments and see you guys in my next video and to this moment I still haven't chosen the topic of my next video because I have so much ideas and so the next video may be about the first Gucci squad or nobles because I have too much to say about the nobles it's true that Kobo didn't focus on them in the manga however they have everything to do with everything in Bleach and so talking about them will be from a different perspective as usual so guys see you in my next video